Well, how do there, people? Tis I, Captain of the Steve, and today, chums, for you guys, in a view of verse, I'm jumping back into No Man's Sky, and I'm trying to do some treasure hunting, but this time we're going under the ocean, under the sea, I guess. I'm going to have myself some Ribenas. Yummy. And you're probably wondering, what was that little figure that I held up at the start? That was from Starcom. Heck yes, I loved Starcom as a kid. Magnetic figures, they're all cool. Anyhow, let's jump on over into game then. Chicka boom! There I am, in game! Right, let's jump on out of my ship. Now what I need to do... Oh look, there's a frigate just flying past in low orbit. Isn't that wonderful? I'm calling my own sort of freighter. Chicka boom! There it is there. And then I can call in old exocrafts and all that sort of shenanigans, so... Yeah, I need myself. Oh, I need to get to the water. So let's get to the water's edge. Here we go. And we'll be calling it my Nautilus, which is like a little submarine one. Little submarine one. Boom. Okay, is that it? It's there. Let's go for a dip. Chicka plop. Whoa. Okay, right. Now I need to just jump into my Nautilus. I need to go into the quick menu, go into the scanner. Then I need to scan for submerged ruins. Submerged ruins detected. How far away is a submerged ruin? 16 minutes away, people. That's that. That's far. That's quite... Oh, great. Now I've got to fly all the way back up to my ship with a, a jetpack that's not exactly great anymore since they nerfed it and freaking waypoint. Hopefully I'm going to be okay and get up there all right. Yep. Just run my face across the edge of this wall and we'll be all good. Yeah. A bit dodgy that, isn't it? Go on. Yeah. Like a grasshopper. Yeah, there I am. Cool. Oh, wow, look, they've got bone cats on this planet as well. Lovely jubbly. He's pretty darn cool. I like him. He's pretty epic in colours, isn't he? If you want that, there you go. Look, I'll put the coordinates on the screen. But there you go. If you want that bone cat creature, there's the coordinates for him. Isn't he wonderful? He really is. Okay, cool. Anyhow, I digress. We better get up into the sky and go and fly on over to this relic site. Hopefully there's somewhere quite close to land by it. Okay, well, it's only like, what, 18 seconds away inside my ship. But if I fly up a little bit higher, boom, like so, chkapow, I should be able to get there super quick because there's no sort of friction up here. So there we are. And, uh, yep, fly on back down again. We should be there in less than that 16 seconds. Maybe not. <laughs> Normally it works. Trust me, people. I've done it lots of times. But that was a bit cack-handed. Yeah, I got spun around a bit. Righto, and hopefully we're going to be digging up free keys. Well, do we need free keys? I think we still need the free keys. I'm not 100% sure, actually. It's been a while since I've done this, so this is kind of... I'm learning as I go, I guess. All right. Well, it's not too far off the coastline this time, at least, people. So, you know what, I'll, I'll just land over here, and we'll take it from here. Cool. Oh, I love it when you see the planets just hanging in the background like that. Just reminds you that you are playing a space game. Freaking epic, isn't it? And go on, anyhow, let's um, let's lug it over here. Let's go get the treasures, because that's what I'm here to grab. Chickaboom! Let's get in your water. Go on. And uh, swim. Swim, dangly, swim. Okay, right. Uh, I was trying to try and do this one-handedly, so I could drink some more of my Ribena, but that's not happening. So I'm just going to have to swim a little bit slower and drink some of my Ribena. Cheers, people in the view of us. Right, okay, let's get over there. Yeah, not a cup of tea today, people. Figured I haven't been drinking enough water, keeping myself hydrated. Gotta look after yourself. You know what, on the way here, I might as well scan some plants. I have got my um, Discoveries catalogue, and it's not quite complete when it comes to the old flora. I've got two more floras that I need to actually get, so we'll scan a couple on the way there, and we'll just see if we get lucky. Yeah, there we go. There's also two minerals that I need to scan and get as well. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll, we'll just scan a shed load of stuff under the water. Because I haven't done much scanning for a while. Hopefully we get lucky. And we'll just populate out our flora's catalogue. I guess. Anyhow, I'm nearly there. Nearly there. 100 years away. I'm probably going to have to eat some kelp sacks or something. Because we might run out of oxygen. Budget. Um, right, okay. Well, we'll, we'll swim up to the surface and get a little... Oh, look at that! Look at my freighter and all the sort of frigates sitting out there. That's pretty cool. If I fly all the way up into the air and get a load of oxygen, just plop down back into the water. Boom. There we go. There's one. So there's a sealed chest, I think. Ah, I need my other multi-tool. Darn it. I should have prepared earlier, shouldn't I? There we go. 
And let's do the terrain manipulator. Right. Okay, what do I need for this then? I do need a trident key. And I need a living pearl. Alright, fair enough. Cool. Now, if you can't be asked to get those things, I suppose what you could do is just go into options like so, couldn't you? Go into there and uh, cheat. Just put it into creative mode for a second or two. I mean, I could go and get a freaking pearl if I wanted to. It's, it's not too difficult. And the actual key itself is in, in is in one of these things that you're seeing around here anyway. Um, yeah, somewhere. Sealed chest. All right, well, there's one of three chests. I think you, in, I think to get the key, actually, I think you interact with something that's just up here. I think you interact with this to get the key. Let's just see how you get the key, just so you guys know in the view of us. Boom. Uh, and you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you how to do this the legit way. I won't use that little cheating method that I just showed you. Kaboom. There we go. And we've got ourselves the key. Now I need a living pearl. All right, fine. So let's go get a living pearl. I'll just put it back into normal mode. Boom, boom. And yes. Right. Living key. Aha. There you go. Armoured clam. Just swim towards an armoured clam. When you get to an armoured clam, if you zap it, it's going to open up and you can grab the pearl. And then you just have to get grab the pearl before it slams shut on you and bites you. There we go. Let's go over here. Let's go get that. You know what? I'm going to make a little detour. I'm just going to go grab... Some of this kelp sack. I bet there's a kelp sack right by the blinking thing, though. There you go. Chuck about. Always, always the way, people. Yeah, look, there's one just there. <laughs> uh, there's one right by it, anyway. Oh, we'll grab that one as well. So that we'll have that. Go on in. Yummy. Oxygen replenished. Oh, there's another one there. There's freaking abundance of them, really, isn't there? Okay. Any other sorts of flora? No. Okay. Right. Fine. Let's uh, go to let my whole pulse bitter then. There you go, I've opened it. I shot it to you from... I'm going to get bit. No, I, I've done it. Freaking done it, mate. All right, well, um, this isn't good, though. I've lost the actual marker for the freaking relic site. Oh, shite. Oh, for fudge's sake, really? Oh, great. Now I can't spot the bloody relic. Oh, no. Is that it down there? I can but hope that that's it. Come on. Please be it. That would suck, wouldn't it? I'm making a guide and I've lost my blinking relic site. I mean, what you can do is put a beacon there. I'll show you how to put down a beacon. So, yeah, you could have done a... Yeah, there you go. I can see it. It's nice and bright. But what I should have done is as you scan, if you press the square button on, on PlayStation, you can place like a little beacon. Boom, like that. And then it puts off this marker, and you can see it on the sort of radial at the top, like you can see like your ship and stuff. There we go. Right. Okay, well, I've got the living pearl. I've got the key. I got the key here. I got the secret. Okay, right, let's, let's see if we get on. We're okay with this then. Pearl, key, done. Open sesame. -oir. Boom! I got a treasure. Heck yours. And that's a new treasure record added. That's the aquatic treasure. Got and dusted. Lovely jubbly. Well, let's head on back to the ship. And let's go check out my Wonders catalogue, people. So, we'll see if that has actually populated it in a second. Nice. Yeah, my ship wasn't too far away, was it? It was quite near to the coastline, so might as well just swim back there. We did scan a load of stuff on the way here. Is there anything else I can scan other than... Well, uh, it's all flora, isn't it? I don't really need to scan any underwater life forms, but sod it. Go on. What about you? Did I scan you? Yes, I have. I think I've scanned most underwater flora now, which is pretty darn freaking cool. We'll see if we've got any extra flora as well when we're there, people. Cool, yeah. Swim, swim, swim. Like the wind. What about that thing that's all moving? Yeah, I've got that too. Okay, I've done better than I thought I did. I wish we could swim faster. Come on. Swim faster. Now... Bum, bum, bum. It's the main reason why I don't bother going in water all too often. It's just the speed that you swim. It's just freaking like slug in taffy, isn't it? It's a pain in the freaking neck, to be honest. Even if you upgrade all your freaking rocket pack and your ability to swim, you can't swim any faster. Pain in the freaking backside. Okay, right. Here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get in my ship. Out of my ship. Just to make a save. Just to make sure that we've got everything. Let's go into the old catalogue. Catalogue. 
Chicka pow. We're now on. Yes, we've got a new aquatic treasure, people. Look at that. Thank you. Cheers, people in the view of those. Lovely jubbly. So there we go, people. That's one extra extra treasure gained. Thank you. Still got quite a lot to go, though, people. Okay, well, hopefully we'll find them as we go on with this, peeps. But until next time, that was quite a quick episode, really, wasn't it? But yeah, it's not really a cup of tea either. It's a frickin' black, black current, isn't it? Anyway, have a good one. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.